How's it going, my entrepreneurs? El Patron here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I believe is the best uh, money management system or skills for an entrepreneur. Now, I put together this chart for you guys, and here on the upper left hand corner is our income. Now, any type of income, right? It could be a nine to five job. That's how we all start as entrepreneurs, right? When some of us, uh, your um, residual income, earning, business, whatever it might be, it doesn't matter, right? So right here's your income here on the upper left-hand corner. Now, you're going to, in this plan, you have four accounts. One checkings account over here and three savings accounts. All right, and I'm going to talk about those savings accounts here in a bit. But first, let's go ahead and talk about <clears throat> the checkings account. Now, you're going to have to, in this plan here, uh, for not the biggest problem that an entrepreneur faces, of course, is not being able to balance their life, right? Sometimes as entrepreneurs, sometimes we, we focus so much on our business, on our work, that we don't balance our life. So what this plan is made for is to balance your life between work and having fun and having hobbies, you know, and we'll get to that here in a bit. So your checkings account, when, when, you, when you get your direct deposit, your check, whatever it might be, um, I recommend you divide it into a couple of, uh, couple of areas, right? The first one. Um, so we'll go to the savings account here on the left hand side 10% of your pay, of every paycheck 10% of every paycheck set aside that's gonna go to your savings and we'll talk about that here in a bit but I just want to mention the 10% alright so the first one 10% alright second one is gonna be of course for your bills and the third one everyday expenses fourth a hobby fund alright and a cash blow folder you know you can have a envelope and just put money in there or however you guys want to do it I recommend getting envelopes right one envelope for your everyday expenses another envelope for your bills or you can leave the the money from your bills in the checkings account because a, a lot of you guys probably pay bills online so you could keep that in the checkings account where you're gonna pay bills have an envelope for a hobby fund that's what I do. I have an envelope for everyday expenses, a hobby fund, and uh, the cash flow. Now, the cash flow, that's what it says right here, money that needs to be spent every month. You have to flex your receiving muscle. Now, this is where the balance comes in play, guys. You have to balance work and refreshment or having fun, right? So, a set aside depending on your budget set aside so much percentage so 10% goes on this side on the savings which we'll get to here in a bit all right now the other percentages is what's left after you pay your bills right so after you put 10% aside from your paycheck and you make the math and make sure how much you need to pay in bills how much you got left whatever you have left then you put it into you divide it percentage wise into everyday expenses the hobby fund and the cash flow now the hobby fund of course that's a, your hobby right because we all have hobbies we all want to do something right so that's what that's going to right everyday expenses we're talking about gas um, soap for your you know whatever you need you know groceries every, everyday expenses right you know living expenses now the cash flow is, is a really fun um, it's really fun because whatever you save up here in the cash flow envelope, you have to spend it at the end of the month. And something luxurious, something that's so nice that makes you feel good. As an entrepreneur, we like to um, you know buy ourselves good stuff or buy our like a massage, go out for a massage, or um, eat out at a fancy restaurant. Do something to make yourself feel good. This is money you have to spend at the end of the month because if you just focus on work, 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 and not on, uh, you know, flexing your receiving muscle, you know, 
you're going to burn yourself out, you know. So this is a perfect way for you to balance, you know. You work really hard, but at the same time, you're putting aside money, you know. Of course, for your bills, that's the most important one. Everyday expenses, you know, we need to live and buy everyday expenses. But make sure you put aside money for your hobby fund, for your cash flow, you know. And it's really fun, guys. You, you save up uh, this money, and at the end of the month, you just blow it. Blow it in whatever you want, you know. All right. So that's pretty much. Now the 10% we were talking about. Um, let's go back to the savings side over here. And I forgot to mention, actually, depending on your taxes, 10% uh, is going to go into your savings. And you're going to have to save whatever percentage from your taxes. All right, guys? If you're an entrepreneur, let's say you're getting paid with a 1099, um, you have to save for taxes and depending on your situation I can't tell you exactly what percentage for taxes because everyone's different I'm single at this moment so of course my taxes are higher if you guys are married it might be lower whatever you know it's different but anyway that goes straight down all the way here to to your tax savings account so you're gonna open up you're gonna open up three savings accounts right the first one an emergency savings account where you're gonna have a minimum of a thousand dollars you guys pick how much you need in an emergency because the worst thing to do is to have an emergency and pick the money out of your savings you don't want to do that so you want to have a completely different savings account just for emergencies that's what this account is for guys so uh, whenever you have an emergency you can just pull it out of this emergency account and ha have it capped at a certain amount my emer emergency savings account is at a thousand dollars right now all right and once you reach the cap of you where you feel safe then whatever money, then the 10% goes down here to compounding interest savings account. Only when your emergency savings account is full at your cap, then you save for your real savings account, which is a compounding interest savings account. You want to get the best, highest interest rate savings account. And right now, the highest uh, interest rate rate in America is from a bank called my savings direct and I will post a link on the description of this video for that bank so if you guys want to take advantage of that 1.25 percent interest rate guys that is unheard of that's the highest in the nation I recommend you take advantage of it I already have have an account with them but 1.25 percent beats any bank out there I don't care who you bank with 1.25 percent in a savings account of course we're talking about a savings account that's high that's really good but I will post a link so you guys can take advantage of that and of course you know the third one that we were talking about is the tax you gotta have a savings account where you're saving for taxes for the you know for the beginning of the year when you tax season comes you're prepared right you're not struggling to make that extra money you know so you can pay your taxes no no you've been saving for it the whole year you know so just a, a recap guys um, income comes in, right? 10% of that income goes to your emergency savings account, or if you're, it's already full, it goes down to your compound interest savings account. All right. The taxes from that income then goes down here to the tax save savings account. All right. And of course, whatever's left, you put into your checkings account, and you set aside money for your bills, your everyday expenses and then uh, you put aside money for your hobby and for uh, blowing cash at the end of the month and this is the perfect way guys to balance your life right the hobby and the cash blow is a way for you to offset working so much as an entrepreneur all right so this is my plan guys this is what I use oh yeah and I forgot to mention make sure your emergency savings account has uh, is in the same bank as your checkings account that way if you have an emergency you have this instant transfer capability where you could just send your savings emergency savings money to your checking account to use it in an emergency All right guys so I believe this is a perfect way to protect yourself in case of an emergency as an entrepreneur and to balance your life of course with hobbies and having something fun to blow your money on now think think about this guys you're able to blow your money and still be able to save you know you hear a lot of people making a lot of money entrepreneurs that just blow all their money you know but you can actually blow your money at the end of the month the money you've been saving up under the cash flow and still save money 
using the compound interest savings account with my savings direct or whatever bank you choose so this is perfect works for me I don't know if it'll work for you you can use this you can modify it the way you can you you can modify it the way it'll help you you know you can have another fund here like for your for your uh, son or daughter for college you could put another one here and depending on how much you make you, you'll have to adjust your percentages you know because you've got to pay bills and everyday expenses but that right here guys is how I manage my money as an entrepreneur I um, hope this has helped you guys out if you're trying to figure out how to balance your life between having fun and still working hard you know and hopefully this has helped you guys out let me know comment on the comment section of the video thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in one of my other videos